know, it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. And after I uploaded, I was like, such a fucking idiot. So dumb, stupid. Fuck. I realized after I uploaded that video that I didn't say a single thing about me and what I like and what I do and what I want to make videos about. After a summer of soul searching and reorganizing my entire life, I decided that I need to make a video more about me and my life. So, quick update, this is going to be a video, a boring video, you probably won't enjoy it at all. Like, I honestly have no fucking idea what I'm doing. This video has been overdue for a while, but essentially I'm just going to be listing off things that I enjoy, and you might not enjoy it, but it's helpful for me. First of all, and I guess it's obvious, coffee. I wasn't always into coffee. I think I picked it up mainly in high school, coming up to the final exams, found it gave me a little kick. And I've gone on and off addicted to it for about six years now. At the moment I'm sticking to one cup a day, maybe two. Um, but at one point, while studying, I reached six cups a day. And I hope to never make that again. Mainly I make it at home using the AeroPress, but I will go to cafes as well. Um, the coffee culture is so exciting for me, but I try not to get addicted again. Another one of my obsessions would be alcohol or booze, but I know what you're thinking, and in fact, I'm not an alcoholic. I just drink a lot and on my own. When it comes to alcohol, I prefer a nice tasting drink or something that's been put effort into, so cocktails and spirits and occasionally a beer or a wine. After working in a bar for two years, I started to get interested in the way drinks were made and the way certain things would taste. Coming out of that experience, I think I've learned to love cocktails, making and trying new cocktails as well. So maybe that's something I can incorporate into this channel. My main thing though after working there has been whiskey. I've become absolutely obsessed with it, which is not good because it turns out that shit is expensive. But yeah, booze is one of my love, but I'm not an alcoholic. Another thing about me, and I'd argue is bigger than the rest of them so far, is music. Music is something I've been passionate about for a while, whether it's writing, playing, or just listening. I've always found enjoyment and relaxation in it. I started young, as I guess most people do. In year three, I learned to play the tuba. I know. But ever since Little Me picked up that tuba all those years ago, my love for music has just skyrocketed. I've since learned to play many more instruments, including the piano, guitar, trombone. I think one of my main interests with music is composition. I like making music and just trying to do new things while still making something catchy. Maybe this is something I'll show on my channel more. If I make some songs, I can release them here, or I can make a music video. I don't know, but I love my music and I want to show that as well. Who knows? I mean, if I'm feeling like it, I might even bring up the tuba. So hot. Sweating buckets. Something which has more recently become part of my life and that I'm passionate about but might be a bit more controversial to talk about is religion. As I was brought up through a lot of religious schooling, mainly through the Christian faith, I do have a lot of experience with these beliefs and because of that I still hold an interest in what they mean and where they come from. The only difference now is that I no longer believe that there is a higher power. But this isn't to say that I think other people are wrong. I like having the conversation. I'm interested in all forms of belief and I like to talk about them and delve deeper into why people believe certain things. Religion is something I definitely will be bringing up on this channel. Ever since listening to The Atheist Experience, which if you haven't I would recommend listening to it, I've been so much more passionate about beliefs and religion and ideologies and logic and everything like that. Though I do recognize religion is a bit more of a controversial topic, so we'll have to see how that one goes. Something else I enjoy, and was probably going to be even more controversial, is wrestling. And now I'm not talking about the Olympic style wrestling when you pin them down, throw them out the ring, all that kind of thing. I'm talking about professional wrestling. I think you knew that. And now I know what you're going to say. Wrestling isn't real. As far as I'm concerned, wrestling is as fake as any other show. We all know it's scripted. We all know it's fake. They're not hitting each other. But have you seen some of the stuff that they do? All stunts aside, I've really engaged with the storytelling of the show. Some of the characters they build up from the ground are so interesting and the weaves that they go through and the stories they tell have just gripped me for as long as I've been into it. I don't know, maybe I'll do a better job at explaining it in a later video, but for now there is a video which explains it how I would if you are interested, but 
I mean, most people won't be, because it's fake, right? You, well, f Something that's been a really big part of my life for a while is surfing. Now, I've been lucky enough that I've been able to go surfing from a young age. Living in a country like Australia, with this fucking heat, oh god. Honestly, it's hard not to get into surfing here. The beaches are amazing, the waves are all right, the temperature is hot, I'm sweating buckets. Now, even though I have been surfing from a young age, I'm still not very good at it. Surfing's the kind of thing where I just wish everyone could experience it. If everyone knew how it felt, to this is something that'll be harder to incorporate into my YouTube channel. Like, I guess I can stick a GoPro on my board and then just surf. I don't know if that, would that be entertaining? Yes, I guess we'll find out. Speaking of exercise, something else I have been very excited about for most of my life is football or soccer. Now, I will call it football. I was raised in an English family and it's, I mean, it's football. That's the end of story. And my dad was always into football. He played at quite a high level when he was younger. And because of this passion that he has, it's passed on to me and my other siblings. And we've been playing football for a long time, since we, before I can remember. Having played for so long and enjoying it as I do, football is something that I could see myself loving forever. I will pass it on to my kids as my father passed it on to me. Oh, and I support Liverpool, so. Something that is a big part of my life, but I really struggle to sum up, I would just put as geeky things. Now, the reason I say geeky things is because I can't nail it down to one thing. I, I've, I've loved things from here and there and everywhere. I just love to be a geek. If I had to limit it down to my top three, I would have to put it as Doctor Who, Star Wars, and Marvel. Honestly, it's something that I try not to hide because I, I think you need to be passionate about the things you enjoy. And I enjoy being nerdy. I enjoy liking Marvel and liking Star Wars and liking Doctor Who even though it's fallen off over the past few seasons. And honestly, the only bad thing about it, it's expensive. I mean, if you know what pop vinyl heads are, then you already know part of my struggle. I mean, part of the obsession with these fandoms is the new and exciting worlds they create. I like that things get weird. I mean, Doctor Who is so fucking weird. Now meet the genuine article. The bingle bongle dingle dangle, yickety doo, yickety da. <laughs> but the weirder it seems to be, the more I love it. I don't know. Expect to see a lot more geeky stuff in the future. It's essentially who I am. So, deal with it. Last but not least, and I guess it's kind of obvious at this point, I I love filmmaking. Kind of like the music, I am a big fan of the making and the watching. I love watching films. I'm obsessed with these new films coming out. I mean, if you haven't seen Parasite, or The Gentleman, or fucking Jojo Rabbit, whoa. When it comes to film, mm, fuck you. When it comes to filmmaking myself, I've always loved every part of it. I love the writing, I love the editing, I love the shooting, I love the acting, I love directing. I just love everything about it. Being a young filmmaker, all I can do at the moment is work on honing my craft and getting better at what I do. And the only way I'm gonna be able to do that is by making more and more of these videos. So that's why I'm pushing myself to make these films. And this is hopefully, again, the first example of what's to come. Maybe I'll have to commit to some kind of weekly schedule because I know at the moment I, I'm struggling to put out any form of content. I'll try and keep it short at this time, but I'm just not sure. All I can say is, expect the unexpected.